Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Some of our own at home beauty products is our beauty product expert friend, Bahar Taktashian. How you doing? Welcome back. Thank you. So, you had the baby, you lost all the weight. It took a while, but yes, I did. Thank you look terrific. You. So do you. I love your outfit. Thank you, thank you. So, what are we making? So, Wendy, as you know, so many of us are spending more time at home. We all want to save money, but we don't want to compromise our beauty routine. No. So, I've actually come up with some very simple yet effective do it yourself beauty treatments mm -hmm. with items that you probably have in your kitchen pantry anyway. Mm -hmm. So, first step, let's talk about a great face mask. Now, we're going to get our hands a little bit dirty. We're going to start cooking a little bit with all these ingredients. Um, and I know that, we, you know, winter is coming, Wendy. It's getting cold. Yeah. So we need a great face mask yeah. to take care of our skin and to nourish it. Okay, so you're going to cook and I'm going to watch. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to mix a little too. So this is a um, yogurt and cocoa face mask. So first, you're just going to take one tablespoon of plain yogurt and you'll just easily dump it right in there. Okay. And Wendy, yogurt is fantastic. It has probiotics. Yeah, we say that. So it naturally moisturizes your skin. And it has something called lactic acid, which helps to really smooth out any texture issues that you may have. What is this, honey? Yes. Then we've got about a teaspoon of honey. Honey is like a miracle worker, Wendy. It's going to tighten your skin. Yeah. As we age, we all have a little bit of drooping. Yeah. So Honey and tightening is key. Okay, the and final, cocoa. Yeah, a little bit of cocoa powder as well. Uh -huh. This has something called flavanols. That is a plant nutrient that helps calm irritation. So oh. all you do, oh. this is super simple. You just mix it up mm -hmm. and it comes out into this like nice little paste. Okay. It's also delicious, I might add. You smooth it on your skin and I'm telling you, Wendy, it feels so soothing. You put it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, uh -huh. catch the Real Housewives, watch the Wendy show. <laughs> you take it off with um, a little bit of hot water and a towel, mm -hmm. and your skin is going to feel so smooth and so hydrated. Do I smell oatmeal? Uh, yes, you do. Okay. The next treatment is all for your hands. So this is going to be an oatmeal hand soak. Now, Wendy. What do I you know, do? we're all washing our hands like crazy. Chapped. Chapped, dry. We're using hand sanitizer. I don't know about you, but my hands feel itchy and irritated all day long. So this is going to really help to revive your hands. So again, kitchen staples, oatmeal. You're going to take four cups of oatmeal. And oatmeal is really, really a superfood because it helps to restore your skin's moisture levels. But why are we making so much? Where are we going to put this? I'm going to tell you. I have a okay. secret. So the oatmeal, <laughs> <laughs> there's a catch. Um, you're going to take the oatmeal, and that has um, a way of kind of restoring your skin's moisture levels. And if you have, like, eczema or itchiness or dryness, That's this nice. is a miracle worker for you. Okay. Then you're going to add about three cups of milk. Okay. Your milk has lactic acid, again, that helps with exfoliation. Mm -hmm. Um, two cups of water and then a little bit of honey as well. More honey. Now I want to tell you that you're going to put this on the stove and you're going to cook it until your oats get nice and soft. Okay. okay. And thanks to the miracle of TV, we have these oats here. Okay. And you're saying, so why, why are we putting why, this? Why so much? Well, here, it, not only does it taste good, so you can take a scoop of this and have it for breakfast, hearty breakfast, but the rest of it you can use for your hands. You're going to put your hands in here. It's a little warm. Now see. And it's, <laughs> it feels a little weird at first, but this really moisturizes your skin. It really helps to rejuvenate, and your, your skin's going to love you. Your hands are going to love you. Do it yourself, beauty. Okay. And you know what, Wendy, so many of us are into like organic stuff these days. We don't want chemicals. All of these treatments are natural and they're effective as well. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. And finally, we're going to talk about a lip treatment. This is a cinnamon lip scrub. So obviously we're wearing our masks like all day long. So yeah. our lips are not getting the love they need. They're not breathing. So this is a cinnamon lip mask. The first ingredient, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Not only is this a tasty spice, but it helps to increase circulation mm -hmm. and it helps to plump up your lips temporarily. Oh. So. Hey, look, what is this in the middle? This looks this interesting. This is raw honey. So. Oh. The cinnamon's going to plump up your lips. So you get that Kylie Jenner look without the injectables. Then you add the raw honey. 
which is so yummy. I love raw honey, especially with some butter. And then a little bit of tea, um, olive oil as well. Now you're gonna mix this up until it has like a pasty consistency. And then, this is the key. You're gonna put it all over your lips, mm -hmm. but you're gonna take just a little bit of it because cinnamon can be like very strong. It mm -hmm. might like have a tingly sensation, mm -hmm. but it exfoliates your lips. So you're gonna take a little bit mm -hmm. and make circular motions on your lips like this. Okay. All over. Smells good, mm, tastes good too. You can lick it off. You can actually rub it off with this. After you're done with that, you put a, bit, a little bit of like your favorite lip balm on there. On top of it. On top of it. Plump, kissable, beautiful lips. I love this DIY, this, this DIY stuff. I don't have the patience for it, though. I must be honest with you. Yeah, but well, for those of you who, at home who have the patience, this is good. And Bahar knows what she's talking about. <laughs> uh, for more information on these beauty tricks, go to wendyshow.com. Ask Wendy is next.